And this is Jonathan G. Mm. Okay. Um, and Jonathan G. I saw um, Leonard talking earlier in chat. I think he was saying he was looking forward to playing against Jonathan. Mm. Okay. It seemed that he had respect for this player and he was looking forward to a good match. And I certainly am too. Earlier on, Laird had some just really good, really good gameplay. Uh, he took out Slingshot, who had a really great showing last week, knocking him into losers very early. So now, let's see how these two players end up facing off against each other. Uh, <gasps> Ooh. I believe also Jonathan G just took out um, Clampa, who's another PA. Oh, so, wow. So it could be that Laird wants to get revenge for his fellow countrymen. Oh, absolutely. And Laird is also quite a big Xenoblade fan, so definitely has a little bit of a respect for the character as well, uh, at least at a personal level. Ooh. Yeah. Now, one thing about Laird that we've seen earlier is that as a Samus player, very mobile, not afraid to like be, you know, jumping around, using his down beat on the platforms. Uh, and I mean, we have the charge shot, the charge shot play we've seen has been fantastic. So ooh, actually switching to Pyra in this position, Honestly, I guess just for the recovery. Also, I think I agree with it because of the weight difference. You go up six units of weight, so that's a pretty noticeable increase. And because of that, for... Oh! The clip! The tiniest little bit of Nyx, and that's going to do him in. I'm surprised. Oh my god, just a point blank charge shot. Just let it rip and... Oh. I like that. If, if Lair can get a grab, though, it's pretty much over for that stock. Ooh. All right. Displacement. Not quite able to punish that one. That one should be able Ooh. to. Yep. Just charge shot into yep. grab. Cleaning it up real quick. Mm -hmm. Now we exactly. have Laird. It didn't take any percent, really, despite going down pretty early. Yeah, absolutely. Showing just how well Laird knows how to take out these stocks with very good precision. Ooh. That was very smart seeing that. Okay, the uh, blade, what it's like, ray of punishment or whatever. No, that's the, that's the, that's the Mithra upbeat. The, Blazing the pyro side. Yes, Blazing that one. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I will say these but, two players are just really at the lower percents. They hit the opponent and they get a nice solid combo off of mm -hmm. it. Kind of just going back and forth. And now it's a slight percent lead for uh, Jonathan, but at the same <gasps> time, oh! That percent just being, <laughs> being at 90 against Mithra could just be, oh, sorry, against Pyra rather, can just be an absolute death sentence. Absolutely. And also because of the specific angle that it was set at, from how the launcher hitbox, you know, how it has the launcher hitbox and then the, the kill hitbox for the upbeat for Pyra. It was actually able to be more difficult to DI away from it. So very smart there. <laughs> the t I thought there was going to maybe be some crazy conversion off of that, but no. For the most part, Laird has not taken a lot of damage. Love the displacement from that Ooh. down B. Uh, it does hurt Boxer Ooh. just a little bit. Can he clean off this stock? He has him trapped at the ledge. Another up B actually intercepting him, and that's going to do it. We now have uh, definitely, I'd say, a pretty dang even game here, even if the percent is in a little bit uh, Jonathan's favor. Ooh, I think that was supposed to be maybe a forward air, but... I don't know, maybe they were going for a read saying, okay, I might be able to get a little bit more damage if I hit the dash attack if I get this call out correctly. Ooh. I see what they're going for there, but very good on Jonathan G to have that awareness to see, okay, don't want to get caught by that. Okay, and all of this damage being <gasps> dished out. An up tilt, is that going to do it? It does. Even being Pyro weighing a little bit more is not enough. It's such a good option for covering the ledge right there. And that's going to be, despite being down, what felt like the entire game, Laird actually closes it out, taking game one. Absolutely. There's that clutch factor that's so important. It doesn't matter how good you are as a player if you cannot take the game. Because even if you're solid for most of the game, what really matters? It doesn't matter what percent you're at, as long as you have a stock left. Even if you get like six clips and it's just like, wow, you did 100% with that combo. If you lose in the end, <laughs> none yeah. of it matters.
it's sort of like those combo videos where it's like, oh, it's the sick combo, but then they die at the end. And it's like... <laughs> It's, it's like, also like this: you do a sick combo, then you look at the stock count, and you're like, "You're down three stocks, buddy." <laughs> but we have we have none of that going here on here right now. Super even game between these two, and I'm really excited to see how it pans out. Oh, ooh, seems to be some fire lit into Laird, but maybe a little bit too aggressive on his part. Overextending with that grab led to all of this damage, 58 percent, and he still topped that ledge. Oh, wow. Okay, very smart get off me tool there, but not quite able to get a hit because the way that Photon Edge works is that it just goes in a straight line, even though for the hurt box, but the hit boxes are all scattered across. If Laird can get that timed a little bit later, it will be able to punish it. Yeah, also the platform was in his way, mm -hmm. trying to make it back down to the to ground to punish it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Just charge shot right in front of that F smash. That's bold, and you need boldness like that against Pyra. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's such a weird... Like, on the one hand, boldness can pay off. On the other hand, you got to respect the fact that she just has disgustingly strong moves. That's also very true. Oh. Oh. Keeping off stage. And we have a mostly charged hard shot here. <gasps> oh, not actually able to punish the forward smash. And Mithra being so mobile right now, able to tack on another 46%. That charge shot still not actually enough to do it. Can he actually cinch this edge guard? No, oh. gets back onto stage. <laughs> this is so tight right now. Just needs one grab though, because that will be able to take the stock. So, or just an up be out of shield. You know, the simple options always do the trick as well. That is something that. Oh. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Oh, was facing the my... wrong way on that jab at the end right there, but oh man, but, just the fact oh my... that oh. our shot has so much hit stun, at, even at like lower percents like that, it can be just a, an amazing tool. All these combos that like were also huge callouts, just absolutely crazy from Laird. Like, wow, Laird was at behind fifty percent at the beginning of this stock, and now has a lead. Oh, but let's see if that lead will mean anything. He's trapped at the ledge against a Pyra burning with fury and catches the roll. All of that work that, that Laird had done kind of been undone as he still has to figure out how to take this stock without, you know, eating another face full of damage. Oh, wow. 158, though. This is definitely very close to kill percent. That was very good at seeing, okay, I'm just going to take that hit instead of the much stronger hit that would have killed there. Yeah. And looking for this grab, one grab up throw will probably mean death at this point. And, or, the, okay, that's the thing. When you're so worried about the grab, that means you're probably jumping a lot, meaning that dash attack is prime just to farm you. Oh, oh, oh no. Already. Oh, right there. You said how he was able to beat out that hitbox at 89% and trapped at the ledge. But the last hit of those Photon Edge able to finally put a good situation now. Pyra going off stage, going deep possibly. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Very good awareness there seeing that. Okay. If you get edge guard by Pyra, you will die. So just playing the safe game and oh, almost. Ugh. Okay. That's that a great parry. Goes for the up B, though. That's not enough to actually kill. Only 53% onto Laird. But that's still... You do not have, you cannot be comfortable. 71%. He's now at death percent. Especially the fact that he's at the ledge right here. He is aware of it. Okay, but not even able to chase him down. 81% now. This, this nu These numbers are getting bigger. And there's the forward smash. Able to stay alive and find it. Jo finally, Jonathan finds the hit that he needed. Wow. wow. This is both of these games so back and forth, so last hit between these two. I so far am really enjoying this set. Absolutely. These two cra players are absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Like just going for Okay, Jonathan G saw that. The way that Laird was getting around that Pyra ledge pressure earlier was by going for that delay into a jump into a ledge jump forward air. And because of that, Jonathan G waited for it that time and it's knew all, also i think it's worth knowing that i don't think he had a charge shot and when he did have charge shot as we saw in that clip he was going for like ledge jump 
charge shot. But without mm -hmm. that, he wasn't able to, like, that's when he was going for more of the forward airs. Yes. And oh, what? Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just what? waiting for something to happen. And in the end, gonna actually get an insight punish. We now have 33% and growing. Laird taking an early uh, percent loss right here. Ooh, but. Oh, this is looking like a good opportunity here. Ooh, the bomb actually stopping the photon edge. That's a very interesting interaction that might actually come into play for the rest of this game. It's He was actually using it at the end of last game, so I think that's just a really nice adaptation that he's incorporated mm -hmm. into his gameplay. Man, the hit stun Ooh. on that charge shot is just so massive. <gasps> oh, that was almost death there, too, because it was very close to just gimping. And yeah, this is a fully charged charge shot, too, available, so... Ugh. Yeah, gonna be switching to Pyra. I'm not sure exactly what he's looking for, you know, with trying to chase him down, but now he has all of the time in the world, given that Pyra is much slower, to charge these charge shots. The extra weight, I think, mattered right there, but... It definitely did. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, it gets behind him, finds the down smash, and Laird, for the... First time in a while actually managing to take a lead right here. Yeah, a stock I think this lead, is the first is. stock lead that Laird has taken this entire set. Yeah, might actually be the case. In which case, we haven't really seen him get to play with a stock lead. And whether Jonathan is going to be able to just counter that effectively or whether he's going to oh. take too much damage. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that was so close to being a very cheeky stock there. Right. And the back air going to be taking it at that really low percent. But Laird did what he needs to do. 76% onto Jonathan. And okay, but big damage possibly. No great movement. The evasion trying to get back down to the stage. He manages to find it. Now Laird's the one with the stage positioning, with the control. Oh, but a little bit of an overextension here. You still have to be so careful against Pyro. Those moves are so fast and so quick. But... <gasps> Oh, no, does it make it back to the ledge? That's a massive, massive pickup for Laird. Absolutely. 61 per... Oh, my... Foresight already! Oh. Is it foresight or is it insight? It's foresight. Foresight, okay. Oh, that was a great roll out there, seeing, okay, they're going to go for that up smash, just barely avoiding the hitbox. Oh, another back air, but good DI. Laird is surviving it. Another back throw. Forced to oh. switch to Mithra. Makes it back onto the stage, but oh. no huge punish. If he can Not pick up this stock right now with this pyro while Laird is trapped at the ledge, definitely he can keep himself in this, but oh, every time he gets hit, gets put at the ledge, that's more and more damage, meaning that this is going to slip away from him further and further. Ooh, that was big. Rolling in, seeing that they were going to go for an option. And 85%. This is still very difficult for Jonathan G to work Not with. But with back to Mithra. Pyro's kill power, definitely something that could turn this around very quickly. This is around an F smash kill percent. <gasps> yeah, he knows that. Yeah, we did see, we really did see Jonathan make a comeback in that last game. So let's see if he can repeat that performance. The, oh, 74%. This is so scary if you're Laird. Trapped at the ledge. He manages to make it oh. back on. And that what? was the first hit that Jonathan had taken that entire stock. That was 74% that they had racked up on Laird there without getting an answer. Okay. But it seems that perhaps a spell has been broken. Laird now managing to find these hits. But will he be able to... Actually find the killing blow before he's done in. This Pyro, just with this huge hitbox, it's so scary. He's still trapped at the ledge. Behind him, doesn't get hit by the F-Tilt. Oh, 126. This is so scary for both of these players because they both know that just one hit will kill. Oh, being put off stage. Will it be enough? This is... Uh, not punishing that high recovery. We now have Jonathan back on stage with some control. I like that running into his face just to bait out an option, but neither player is really biting at this point. They realize how much of a difference every hit makes. Oh, that was so good. Holding shield there, knowing that they were probably going to go for the up B. Uh, oh, no, that's going to oh! be it. 
And I was questioning at the beginning, I was questioning that Pyra stay. But it really worked out. Nothing but Pyra for the last minute and a half, I think. And that's what it needed. Just those the big damage from her moves early and the threat of the kill power that was constant. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, yeah, went for that down smash. I maybe was reading a roll or something like that, but the jump into down air, into up air. And that's going to be Jonathan moving on in the winner's bracket, guaranteeing himself a spot in winner's it's finals. Best of five. Oh, I'm sorry. You are correct. I forgot. It is best of <laughs> <Kevin>. five. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, my bad. Well, actually, I'm happy because honestly, this set so far has been really great, and we get to see more of it. Yeah, this is a great set to watch. Great set to commentate. I bet both of these players are just on the edge of their seat. You know, they're just yeah. like, "All right, it's time." Oh, <laughs> uh, it's it's it's. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to readjust to top eight, best three out of five. <laughs> That's true. <gasps> Hmm? I know I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> you all can't imagine what Devin just said right there. Oh, well, Devin can't. Wait, they can't hear they, Devin. They now? cannot hear Devin. Nope. I I remember I remember VODs used to have Devin's voice in them. Yep. Uh I like this. I like this Ghost Devin. Ghost Devin is a lot raunchier than uh, than yeah. Live Devin. Ooh, yeah, Devin. He's... I can't believe you'd say something like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's quite a bit of flags, though. I'm noticing. I think flags? that's flags. The F on the Sable Detect. Hmm. Ooh. Just gonna... Apply some more Glade to my room. All right. Can we move? No character switch is necessary. I think we're probably going to see a stage switch, though. Probably. How much time took right there. Yeah. I could be wrong, though. I have been wrong a lot in my life. <laughs> yep. Oh, Ooh. no. For once in my life. All right. Yeah, so we're going to be having town and city. I do... I can understand this counter pick. Um... This is four layered. It's a little bit more FD. Yes. So and because of the size of the stage, it really gives Laird a lot of opportunity here. And great DI from Jonathan G. We have not seen the down throw back air connect once this entire set. Showing that Jonathan G yeah. knows this matchup, knows you have to DI out so that you don't get hit by that, because that's a really damaging combo. The tiniest little bomb just waiting in, just lying in wait, leading into that forward smash. And now we have a massive, massive lead for Laird. And I will say that, okay, here's the thing though. Whoever has taken the third stock, always, second stock first, always loses. So he has to be careful not to take Jonathan G's stock too early. Did that? It probably did. Uh, every single stock has, every single game has been third stock comeback. Mm. So okay, uh, this is just oh. me and my expert opinion. <gasps> oh, that was great DI from Laird hitting the sour spot of the big, of the big fire part of it. The little, the mini power geyser. All right, and gonna be taking that stock. We now see the Mithra. We haven't seen the Mithra for actually a little bit. Um, but 93%, that's that's a scary place to be, especially because Samus, the fact that Samus has a kill throw and it's a kill throw that's mm -hmm. a tether grab is honestly really big because it means that once you get to the point where that would actually be a, a kill option, the, the option, it just becomes so much harder to play around it. Oh, oh. oh my oh. God. Oh. Laird. Just landing these conversions out of things I didn't know you could convert out of. Oh boy! And the oh, but the mm. the foresight there being so big from Jonathan, able to avoid what possibly could have been a massive, massive low percent combo. Yeah, that was looking like it could have been a full stock lead if the combo had connected there. But 112, this is looking a little bit tough for Laird to keep this lead going. 
the pyre. We've seen how scary it is. We've seen the damage and the fear that it rightfully instills. And okay, looking to possibly end a stock early. Actually going out there. Bit of a risky play, but when he's Ooh. ahead by this much, it can in fact pay off. And it does. We have a game five. Wow, and that was much more dominant than any of the other games we've seen this entire set, too. That's the first two stock. Yep. I think that perhaps there were some important adjustments that got made onto, uh, for, on Laird's part. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the last hit of that forward air. I actually, I really like that because he had not been using that forward air to edge guard. It was for mostly back air or mm -hmm. down air. You know, these big, you know, moves that are much less long lasting. And I think that perhaps... Jonathan had forgotten he needs to play around that forward air because that forward yes. air is something that when Samus feels like it's it's the right time to use it, I mean, you've seen it can end stocks very early. It's a really effective edge guarding tool. Absolutely. That's also one of the things, I think a little bit of an adjustment there that Laird made because using a very active hitbox to edge guard a character with such a linear recovery, one that's very exploitable, is very important there because you're covering pretty much every option with that. Yeah, and it's, it is important to keep in mind that he used it when uh, he was already very low. Yes. Um, which is there was only gonna, that. Yeah, there's there wasn't there wasn't really a lot of recourse available to Jonathan. But now we're moving into game five, and this is definitely this is the kind of set that you could. I mean, in that game one, you could tell it was going to end in a game five. Let's see mm. how it pans out. We go back to PS2, and we have seen that PS2 has worked out pretty well for Jonathan. So let's see if he can repeat that success. <gasps> oh, he's looking pretty good right now. Mm. Saving onto the jump, really important. I love that. Recognizing that Samus's roll, red, ledge roll would actually put him behind that charge while it's smash. Ooh. This is very good usage of the bombs there. Seeing that, okay, it's going to stall your momentum a little bit. Mess with Jonathan's ledge trapping. Oh, wow. Just running back, running forward again. Just hitting that dash attack. Oh. Interesting upbeat. I'm not sure exactly what was going on there, but the oh. box for that actually landing. I don't think he has a jump. Yeah, yeah. he's going to make it back to stage with the... And that's what I was saying earlier, where when he has that charge shot available, that is something you can do to get off ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, I'm liking the fact that he's going to save punishes out of shield with, like, the F tilt. Yes. But right now, this is the point where they're both thinking about how they're actually going to kill... Smash at that point, it's not actually enough to do it, but we are starting getting to the point where yeah, charge shot is looking like a very, very scary option once that charge is actually going. Ooh. <gasps> the Uber extension, the oh hit lag God. for forever. <laughs> Laird's probably kicking himself right now for accidentally extending that hitbox for quite a long time. At the same time, what a call out from Jonathan. Just using the, I mean, I feel like there are, there were points of that move that probably would have gotten beaten out by that charge shot. So mm -hmm. just knowing which, which sort of ones to actually contest with. Ooh. Right. Neutral there is a really big move. A move that we haven't seen that much of, despite how powerful it can be. Um, now we have the stocks being evened up, but already we have 86%. And a switch to Pyra right now is also really, really scary. Oh, we finally see it. We had been seeing him go for that charge F smash at the ledge quite frequently, but it hadn't really worked out up until that moment. And what an important moment for it to work oh. out. Oh, but in the meantime, 69% already dished out in the blink of an eye. Jonathan actually kind of getting... It seemed like he was in complete control, but... Laird is wresting that control right from him, but he can't take too much damage. Otherwise, I mean, he's down by so much. There's oh. there's almost no room for error at this point. And Laird needs to find a kill very soon. Making, oh no, there it is. Pyra's extra weight. That will help quite a bit right now. You know, it helps with getting those kills. And especially because now Pyra has quite a bit of rage on them. So, yeah. that kill tower is even higher. 
Ooh, 100%. And way off stage. Makes it to the ledge. And oh, oh just frames away from that F tilt connecting. Going way deep for it. That should be it. No, what? crouches underneath the downs, the up smash. The, that, is, the that was a huge hurt box shift for Jonathan. That's, ugh, that feels terrible. All right, I think Just at this trail. point, yep, all right. Just okay. the lightest tap from the charge shot connecting is massive, but now 139%. This zero Ooh, for error. And that tech was hit. so I don't big. Think the grab will kill, but. <gasps> that shield is getting really small. Ugh. There are only so many angles he can try to go at. 177%. At this point, even switching to Mithra might not be a bad idea because Mithra now has kill options. Huh? Okay. No, that's probably going to kill here. No! Oh. Actually, that put him... Oh, he has to retreat to the ledge still, though. It's too dangerous to land on top of Pyra. Okay, that's the first hit. Let's see if he can turn into more. Charge shot, that's some big damage. 195%. And that's going to be it. Goes for the grab there, but... Just whiffing and recognizing the opening, Jonathan takes it. But even then, that was a really, really close game. Yeah, that was Despite a Despite how one-sided it seemed, just really good adjustments were made on Laird's part, but they weren't quite enough. He needed to play absolutely perfectly, and that singular mistake. It... Ooh. You see that? Yeah, see that? the double jump was really key. Double jumped instead of landing on the ground and... Yeah, mm -hmm. that was really, really great from Jonathan. He's yeah. going to be moving on to winner's finals. Uh, we're going to be seeing... Um, Us. We're going to be seeing more of Laird, though, on the loser side of things. Yeah, that was...